Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen and uh, I'm gonna be doing this um, video for uh, sharing some guidance about high vibration of foods. Um, okay, I, I understand that everybody's in a different path and everybody has a, a different uh, um, um, way to to feed yourselves as uh, as you feel attracted to foods that that are resonating with you. It it, it all depends where you stand in your uh, in your ascension process. It is has to do with the the amount of light that uh, comes into our bodies, and uh, this is in direct relation of. Um, uh, doing the work of being nature and uh, doing the inner work of meditation, daily meditation. So it is the transformation of uh, of uh, um, carbon-based cells to crystalline-based cells, and so the the diet is changing. That's why we see more people shifting from uh, from uh, eating uh, less meat and then becoming vegetarian and then becoming vegan. And this is now it's becoming raw vegan. I'm I'm this is my my journey by the way. I I am now raw vegan since uh, almost five years, and it's even shifting even more. I feel that uh, during my days, and uh, it's very good for me to to uh, also do some intermittent fasting. So for the moment, I am just uh, um, uh, eating twice a day. Uh, in the morning and then uh, at some point in the, in the afternoon, eight hours after having my breakfast. I keep always this uh, eight hours between uh, two meals. And uh, in between, uh, I'm allowing myself to have like any kind of juices or water, of course. And um, like now I'm having some, some watermelon because watermelon, or if you have uh, in your country, coconut is even, even, even better coconut, but also also, watermelon is very good. It's, it's full. It's, it's full of water and full of uh, electrolytes. So what I'm doing is just cutting it, and then I'm just making juice out of it. I make a smoothie. It's delicious, and uh, it keeps my 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 vibration high because uh, body needs, especially when the light comes into the uh, uh, hitting the planet, and uh, more light comes. It's it's very important to hydrate ourselves and to give ourselves electrolytes. So um, this video is going to be a little bit long because I'm going to be sharing some more stuff what I'm doing here in my kitchen so it's it's in no way in no way it means that you have to do exactly what I'm doing but it's just like it's like a guidance of what I'm doing and uh, you may try maybe to have like a, a raw vegan diet for a few days or maybe try to have like a, at least one day of um, fasting only with water because uh, it allows the, uh, the DNA to restart again so as a reset mechanism uh, uh, some people try for three days uh, in fasting only with water and it allows it's the best to to restart the DNA I do it only one day uh, because I love eating <laughs> and uh, I love the taste and so um, and so yeah I will be I will be uh, sharing some more some more stuff here in this video and this is continuing in a while hey everyone so now it's almost lunch time for me it's about uh, eight hours after I had my breakfast so today I'm gonna be having uh, I made it some sprouted rice so you can sprout rice uh, if you have this uh, medium uh, rice brown rice you can sprout it and not you cannot sprout all rices but this one you you can and then i prepared like a, a nice uh, i put all in a smoothie and i make like a, a courgette uh, uh, paprika some tomatoes some onion and i spice it up and then put it all together here in the bowl as you can see and contrary to the beliefs that uh, we raw vegans we just uh, carrots it's not true <laughs> we can also warm it up so um, so I also put this I always put this in a, if I want to have it a little bit warm I put this in a bamari like this and I put it inside and then um, because I don't have here a, a, a thermomix because thermomix is like a it's like a special um, sm a smoothie shaker that you can also program the temperature raw vegan foods you can eat uh, below 47 degrees because 
for under 47 degrees uh, there is no no minerals no vitamins lost so you keep everything you can have a little bit warm and at the same time you can uh, you can uh, keep the vibrations high and though and so what's the benefit of all this i'm sharing with you now here it's all about knowing that when you are uh, uh, eating eating foods that are raw you actually your energy is not depleted because you don't need so much energy to digest these foods when they are cooked your stomach is working much more then it's much more energy being there and then it can it, with the energies coming through it can drain your energy so 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 it's better to save as much as possible energy for your body to work for uh, for changing, for for making the the, uh, the the transformation of your cells to crystalline cells from caramels to crystalline cells, and doing that. And so, one thing to share with you also is about sprouting. Sprouting is very good because, I mean, uh, uh, if you don't have even any any uh, any way to to grow uh, food in the garden, you can always take uh, here have some some nettle, some lentils, some lentils. Yeah. So you just put uh, some water. For you put them in the water for uh, for about uh, one day, and then you you dry it, and you put it in a the darkness like this. You keep a little bit of water, but almost almost dry. You you cover it. I do it like this with plates, but there is many other tools. If you go on Google it, you can find a lot of other ways to do it. I'm just sharing here the most uh, easiest, simple, simple way because I don't have always the tools. I'm I'm traveling a lot, and then sometimes I'm into places that I don't have all the tools with me, so. This can serve also those of you who don't have all the the machinery to to work with raw vegan foods. Uh, you can do it. Also, another thing you can, I'm also um, yesterday I made I made like pancakes. This is like a pancake I make. It's a pancake made out of uh, out of uh, um, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. So I put I put everything in the water before, and then and then uh, this. With uh, with uh, uh, the water, it, it it gets a little bit soft. Then I put again in the smoothie shaker, and then it becomes like a kind of um, uh, wet paste, wet paste. And then and then I can shape it, and then I put it here, and then I put it in the oven again under 47 degrees, a bit the warm uh, ventilator inside, not not cooking it, just uh, warming it up, and then I let it there for a few hours, and then it dries. And then you can also eat it. So there is many ways you can discover. If you look on on uh, on um, raw vegan foods and high vibration foods, if you Google it, you will find also a lot of information. I'm just sharing with you a little bit what I am doing, what I'm, what how I'm feeding myself for the moment, and how I I keep my vibration high all day long. The food is very important. The food is is very very important for for keeping the vibrations high because it's the what we need in our bodies and the more you keep the vitamins then 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 uh, then the less work it has to do and they become the more you rejuvenate and uh, it's a, it's a nice way to to keep uh, to keep uh, yourself in, in the good energy in high energy if i have some more things so um, one last thing i want to share with you is that uh, i always bless my food so so it is um, a very nice practice to have before eating to always uh, use uh, energy from coming out of your hands blessing your food uh, I hear many people saying oh yeah the food is poisoned and uh, and there is not so much food in the market and you cannot eat this and this and this and this but if you remember that you always light the love then you always have the strength to 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 bless your food and and that is shifting the energy in the food Masaru Emoto proved it already by saying, for example, I love you to the water, uh, just saying I love you, I love you, I love you, you, you change the frequency, you change the molecules of the water, the molecule structure, and then it has been proven with uh, science. So it, 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 this, is, this is definitely something to keep always high vibrations in everything we do, and including our foods. I'm always blessing my foods when I'm uh, uh, preparing them, when I'm eating them, always say thank you. I'm sure most of you know this information, but it's also like a little bit of a reminder to understand that, that uh, high vibration is also about, about um, the whole process, holistic process of doing everything in our lives, to do it more with more holistic uh, attention than just uh, eating, eating just like that. Uh, just uh, I'm eating raw vegan now, but I mean, even if I eat vegan or if I eat another food, 
it's the same that it, it, it when it's blessed then it's a totally different energy and when I'm thinking about all the people that participated to bring these foods on my table and being also thankful to all of them sometimes I got uh, bananas coming from the other side of the planet or some things and I say wow you know this is amazing and just just think about all these people who work to bring all this thing on my table to have gratitude for that just for for a, for a few seconds this is uplifting also the energy of the food so it's always about about what we think it's also about bringing this holistic approach in in everything we do and so i'm going to finish this video just with this sharing here that i'm doing i'm always uh, this is a uh, water i put inside with um, a half lemon and a little bit of uh, bicarbonate of sodium because this is perfect for uh, keeping the the the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the body alkaline alkaline is the pH under 7 uh, all the foods that are alkaline are perfect for our bodies especially now with the, the strong energies coming forward coming through so so this is a very easy recipe uh, to when you have like um, when you had some acid foods and everything to always have a little bit of water with uh, half a lemon and a, a little bit of uh, one eighth of uh, even less of a teaspoon of uh, bicarbonate of sodium buy the good one the one that is like uh, not with um, chemicals inside you can always buy this at the at the biological uh, shops and then when you do this then it's just like um, it makes you it makes it completely alkaline then we can also bless it I'm sharing again here. I shared this this uh, this uh, technique f uh, f uh, from Hollow Earth uh, again. I shared this in past video. So for the here is left right. So we are we are in the north hemisphere. So I'm using here is my left side and here is my right hand. So I, I'm keeping my hands like this, and uh, that creates a spiral. And this is like, and I'm just blessing it like this. And I say thank you, thank you, water. I love you, I love you, I love you and it uplifts the energy. So if you are in the South Hemisphere, if you live for example in Africa or in Brazil, you just have to reverse this and try it and see how this works for you. Okay, much love. Namaste.